Hey guys, Language Hacker here. This is post patch, and I tried playing some Warlock Warlock, and I didn't lose a single game. Let me show you what the deck list looks like, why it's playable now, and why you should play it. So, this is the current list I have settled on, uh, based off of almost no testing whatsoever, except for the hour or two since the patch has come out. This seems pretty good. So, now, very important to understand how I built this deck, I typed in the word Murloc and clicked on as many things as I possibly could. I was kind of selective with what I picked, though. I, I put cards that actually make sense in the deck. For example, all the cheap Murlocs, good. The main two things that I want to point out are the cards that were changed. The Scavenger, this used to be a 3-mana three 3-4, three which is now a 2-mana two 2-3, three, um, which means it comes down earlier, which means you can keep it more often. I mean, you kept it before anyways, but you keep it more often, you play it on two, and you get the Sunken Scavenger much more often. The Sunken Scavenger is also a 2-mana two 2-3. Two and second of all, the Bloods and Vilefin. Two reasons why this is good. One, it means you can go nutty two drop into nutty three drop. And then on turn four, you have a zero mana scavenger because you pay health for it. Um, buff your whole board. And then you can play some other stuff too. And even if you don't have the scavenger, getting this up, down a turn earlier means you get the, the health dredge faster. Regardless of what you're dredging, your entire deck is murlocs. You can just play another murloc immediately the next turn, which even if it's not buffed, is still very, very good tempo. So because of that, you can get much more aggressive curves now, which will help you deal with, uh, will like kill slower decks. Um, you'll see a cool game where I just demolished the Druid. Uh, spoiler. Um, but it just seems fine. There's not a lot of turn one plays, but you're mulliganing pretty aggressively for the good plays. You're looking for Rock Bottom. You're looking for Scavenger. Chum Bucket is okay with some other cards as well. Um, I honestly didn't even draw Chum Bucket in most games. I was winning games purely based off of Scavenger and Bloods and Valfin, and that was just closing stuff out. Um, you do have some reactive stuff in this deck. You have Lush Water Scout, which does give you a way to fight for the board if you've lost it. You also have Twin Fin Fin Twin, which can rush and help you fight for board. You have Ravager for refill. Uh, I wasn't sure about Gigafin, but I included it, and it seems kind of okay right now. It, it, it's also good if you have a slower start where you need time to get your Murlocs bigger. And then you can flip the game around to Gigafin, which is actually very good against some of the ma uh, some of the matchups in the meta right now. Now, the meta is subject to change because the patches just happened. We're going to be seeing a bunch of different stuff. People are tinkering. But right now, this seems to be a winner from the patch changes. So yeah, try it out. Sex pretty fun. You kill people, games are quick, and you get to play Murlocs, which um, was exciting when the expansion came out, but the deck kind of floundered. Uh, now, it might have a chance. Check out these cool games. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Rock bottom on one is good. If I keep this two, this is good if I hit the uh, the other thing. Let's try this curve. It's on the play too. It's kind of nice. Good idea, Solo. Yup, two drop. <laughs> we did it, guys. We found the curve. Is this another rogue or is this a curse warlock? It could be a curse warlock. Well, I'll be trying Beast Hunter. Yes, but probably not today. I'm not going to be able to stream for that long today. Got my sister coming to visit, so I need to go uh, pick her up. But I did want to get a couple of testing thingies in. If I had it readily built on Europe, maybe I would, but yeah. too much effort. That one. Do you see what I mean, by the way? That changing the man on these was such a big deal. It was actually massive. This change was arguably bigger because the stat, like one less mana cost for one less attack is quite efficient. But even even this, like being able to play this on turn two is just insane. It's actually insane. Ah, a rogue! Wait, no, stop. I was kidding. Slow down. <laughs> Let's talk about this CR7. The only thing this lacks when you're putting some card draw, well, there's a cool little uh, button here that lets us uh, do some drawing. Coining out a second null. Rep. 
Fab. Ooh, they know we're gonna have a uh, a buff, so that does prevent a, a VT. Okay, this costs mana. I might as well tap. Unless I want to do this plus one of these two, but this doesn't really look good here, and I probably just go amalgam. So we go tap. Actually, we shouldn't have tapped. We should play this first. It puts the amalgam in our hand. A second scavenger or Finley here? No, I think just a second scavenger is fine. Then we do this. Then we take this trade. That way this gets buffed and this gets buffed. Next one we can go like 2 plus 3. It's pretty good tempo. Am I just shipping a Gorlock Ravager next turn? I kind of don't want to. It's not efficient in terms of stats. Like, 2 plus 3 is better. And then I can high roll Ravager into one of the Scavengers. We haven't even played a Chum Bucket yet. I think Murloc can become a tier 2 deck. Yeah, I mean, these changes... So, these changes don't fix the problem that the deck has in terms of coming back on board. You have two Twin Fin Fin Twins, and you have two Lushwater Scouts. So you have some ways to come back, but if you don't have those, you just lose once you lose board. But giving the deck a chance to hire with Scavenger and uh, a cheaper Vilefin is actually huge. And in the games we've played so far, they've made such a difference. Because against other tempo decks, including Wildpawn Null decks, where they played Wildpawn Null for one or two mana, I'm actually winning on board just because of having those cards on a curve. Which is quite big. Sidecaller. I think I just go Scavenger, Cold Lights here. Just max tempo. And do I want to control the board or do I want to go face? I feel like I kind of just want to control the board. This one can go face maybe? We have two rushers. What's the downside if I trade? I lose face damage. What is this? Burglar card? And a dredged card. I don't mind going face. Let's go face. This trade is just so tempting. I am a board-based deck. Maybe it is better to trade. Let's go face, though. If I knew their list, I would have a better decision to make in terms of information I have. But th the main reason I'm going face here is in case they have scabs. Looks like they got, what, fire sale? Wow, that's not... Lucky at all, right? Burglar into Pyromancer, and then Burglar into Fire Sale. Hmm. Tide Call Ravager. That's fine. We hit a Tiny Fin. Do I play it? I actually do play it. It's a pretty decent tempo, especially with the War Leader on board. Uh, so the reason I went face last turn is because I wanted to kill them before they play Shadowcraft or Scabs. They might not be running Scabs in their deck, but if they do, getting in before that is kind of important. Because if I if they get Scabs, my board's gone, and they have two four twos, and they can start counter-pressuring. do this. I'm going to save the rock bottom. Actually, is that true? No, I'm not going to save the rock bottom. I am expecting to get coin scabs. If I don't get coin scabs, I win the game. And if I do get coin scabs, I want to have the second sunken scavenger. Yeah, I was hoping they wouldn't have that. Smite's gone, so we're slightly less scared, and we still have a lot of stuff here on board. Scavenge's pretty good. What do we want to do, though? Probably want to do this, plus some stuff. So three. 
four, five. And we still keep the rusher in hand. Look at that, we have a board again. A very good board at that. What's up, Elgroth? Shigami? Tiberi? Who did I not say hi to, by the way? So not how's it going. Give me give me um give me a donut in chat. And I'll say hi. Blabby, hello. Mirabel, Sanat, Aslinger, Belagroth, Shingami, to see you guys. Extortion? Could be a stab. Extortion. Pyre, Protagallo, good to see you guys. Prep Shroud, they have a Null left in their deck. I look at Null. Currently, this still isn't good enough. Like, they are... They do risk dying to stuff. Finley, ooh. I guess, yeah, with a Null, that makes sense in the deck. So they can clean up quite a bit of stuff here, but we still have quite a bit of damage. Like, a second War Leader just closes the game out. Okay. They're low on cards, so despite all this that they've done, they've done this just to stay afloat. How big are you? You have five attack? Do I have lethal, first of all? Six plus four is ten. Unfortunately not. And I don't need to play this this turn. So I think I just go Ravager plus, plus Fin Twin. I don't really care about the smite. I can ignore that. Right? I'm not going to die. They've already played Smite. Like, what are they going to do? Shadow Step it. So we do this. These go face. And I think I tempo this out as well. This is a 3 3. This is massive. And I only need a couple Murlocs to connect with War Leader. So even though this does have synergy with Lushwater Scout, we're so close to killing them that I think I just do this. Passage is so broken. Passage was insanely broken. Passage was busted. Well, Shadow Step is the worst thing that could have happened to us, and they did have it. But even with Shadow Step, I probably will just run them out of resources. Like, even if they manage to clear enough of this board so I don't kill them, I very likely will just run them out of resources. Okay, this is actually where it becomes a problem, if they discover enough random stuff. I kind of regret not killing it now. It was really yucky to kill it, though. Maybe it wasn't that yucky. I could have traded the Twin Fins into it, and then BT'd the other way. This was, like, one of the only ways I lose, so maybe I should have played around this. Uh-oh. They killed Drakdar. Drakdar is still a very good card. It's just no longer auto included in aggressive decks. I mean, they're currently still dead. They don't have that much more removal. Six plus four, I'm one, I'm one damage off lethal. I mean, I can probably just go Gigafin here. Gigafin Void Gill. Skip the tap. Om um, nom 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 nom. Man, this deck puts out so much pressure. And all of this is, is based off of the fact that we had the, uh, the earlier scavenger because it's two mana now. I don't know. 
Wow, isn't that fun? That's very funny. How's it going, Stein? I can't kill that without going through the taunts, unfortunately. What the hell? Yeah. This all happened because I didn't kill the kingpin. It's fine. They're running out of cards, honestly. We could just run them out of... I mean, we will run them out of cards. I could tap for more resources. I think I just want to clear as much as I can off the board right now. What's the most important card to keep alive? The rush minions? So I trade off the war leader, actually, which is interesting. The problem is I'm, I might just lose. Like, just from tempo now. I'm at 19. I'm not that... High health. They have a Cutlass, a Shadow Step, a Tooth left. They don't have that many cards is the thing. So maybe if they don't set up Lethal, we're okay. Worth crafting Gigafin? I don't know. Uh, this is the first time I've played him in this deck. I don't know. My guess is probably not, but hard to say. I actually think I'm losing. They needed exactly Gigafin, but to be fair, I, I, I gave them the Edmund step. Alright, yeah, what's this deck, Sean? Let's take a look. Sinister Strike. Ooh, you were going aggro. Skulkers. I guess Skulkers you can play on two without uh, proccing the thing. Hmm. I don't know about the Sinister Strikes. I kind of want to see some preps in the deck. Especially with Edwin. Are you serious right now? Are you actually serious? And you didn't kill this? Wait, you just died. How did you not kill this? You actually just died. The hubris! Wait, do I have enough? Yeah, I do have enough. This is absolutely enough. Cook the goose. Let's go. Mine is the only goose. Your soul shall be mine. Well, these aren't the broken cards. I could keep Tiny Fin. Tiny Fin works well with some stuff. It's good with Chum Bucket. But maybe I just look for the other cards. Yeah, let's just look for the good cards. Okay, Rock Bottom and Scavenger. I think I go Coin Scavenger, then uh, Tide Collar. Actually, I played this first. Oh, this is better. This, then this Coin Rock Bottom. It's not 
Second Scavenger. I hold off on this. It pushes one damage, but it probably dies to AoE. Marshall and Letty, the person who started its band or person who ordered it. Ooh, that could be fun. That's a good suggestion. That is a good suggestion. Come, come. Oh, oh no, it's a rogue. Did I link that rogue deck? No. I would not recommend trying it. It doesn't, it didn't look good. Well, they at least didn't have shadow step. That's kind of nice. It's mana inefficient to do the scavenger, so maybe I don't do that this turn. Maybe I do this. Yeah, I think that's the case. I think I do this. Next turn we can go scav sunken scavenger, tap in the tiny fin. Golden Celebration still playing Agri DH. I mean, Agri DH is still going to be playable. Absolutely. Mm, it's kind of annoying. They didn't beat T. Interesting. I could scout, but I think I just want to tap. Do I play the Tiny Pin or do I save it for the Lush Water Scout? I think I save it for the Lush Water Scout for removal. Why don't I want to play mana inefficient turn? Isn't buffing all marks ever better? If it doesn't immediately do anything for tempo, no. I guess it would have buffed the stuff on board. Maybe it was better. Actually, this is just better now. Another lush water scout's pretty good. Slight concern here is the poison guy, but that's fine. We'll figure it out. I actually should have held the tiny fin to play around the poison guy. Well, that's not the poison guy, so I guess they died. I thought it was warlock uh, archaic, so against warlock it's better to be mana efficient and get more resources. But on that turn, they revealed themselves to be a rogue. If I knew it was a rogue, I would have gone for the tempo 2 3 instead. Four, six, plus nine. It's not quite enough. This could be an Akani turn. I don't mind Akani. I want to save that. Do this. We win with boards. So that's what I want to do. Joshua, thanks for the prime. Welcome back for three months to the hack pack. Need some collapse in chat. Ten minute fall. Yeah, no, absolutely. Go for it. I don't know why. Uh... Kek W. All right, Marlock, Wallach's the nuts. Ship it, YouTube.